Hello everyone, and welcome back to G.I. June on Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over Roadblock 11 from Target from the G.I. Joe Classified series. Let's get to it. So here's Roadblock, again, the third one we've gotten. I don't, I don't get it. Why so many? It's just too many Roadblocks. It, ah, this one looks really cool though. I really like it. It looks awesome. So let's go over this guy and, you know, see how he stacks up against his predecessor, I guess, the other roadblocks, or at least the roadblock, the field one. So let's go over that. All right, so roadblock. He is the same as his field variant, down to the sculpt and everything. I just gave this one a hat, you know, that hat from uh, Beachhead. I can now say his name and claim who he is. Same accessory, too, and everything. I got two of them, though. So I got two roadblocks, changed some stuff around, you know, sold the parts I didn't want, and he actually looks really cool. So this is a kit bash. So enjoy. Let's go over Roadblock here. He comes with this like really nice design on his front. I'm just going to mention that. It's like camo, but it's more technological. A little bit, you know, choppy and very, you know, you know almost like, like knives or little, like, very, like, pointy, sharp little designs. Really neat, really cool. We have the G.I. Joe, you know, star, the more you know kind of thing over here. His lion tattoo, of course, right here. Some more jagged, pointy designs on the back. Looks very nice. Looks like there could have been a backpack for him. Interesting. I could probably add something to that. You know, we have this gauntlet over here and another one I added, I believe. I forget which one actually had it. I had this guy for so long. I gave him double, you know, tear gas canisters. So that's pretty cool. Gives him a little more heft, you know, more chunk in a way. The asymmetry was nice, but I don't know. I'm a little, I'm a little fan of the uh, symmetry this time around for this guy, at least, you know. Separate him from the two. And I don't really call this guy Roadblock. I call him Heavy Duty, who is apparently Roadblock's, like, cousin or something on one of the cartoons or one of the shows. So, yeah. Uh, same sculpts, I think, for, like, everything down to the boots, at least. You know, except for those new, uh, you know, arm gauntlets and the tear gas canister thing. He's a little more, you know, he's not as buff or chunky, but he just shows it way more, I think. You get that sort of, like, rugged man thing from the beard, too. You know, he lacks the beard the other one, you know, doesn't have. He has a bandana. He has shades. He looks different enough to qualify. The shades can actually, you know, come off. So that's pretty neat. Show the eyes underneath. They look all right. They look nice. They look a little more grizzled than usual. Putting the back on as a snap, you know. The bandana is detailed nicely. Looks really cool. Very good. You know, tied in the back. Little stress marks from pulling. That's pretty nice little touch. Little communicator for his ear right here. It's kind of ugly. I wish they went back to the other communicator. But, you know, I'll take what I can get. So let's see with this line. Take what you can get with these lines because they're pretty cool. The boots are nice. They're pure black. Really neat. The shoes are shiny. The belt has a little shiny buckle. And, yeah, that's Roadblock. He's pretty good. You know, or heavy duty, whatever you want to call him. The paint on the broiler is nice. This broiler right here looks really neat. You know, same stuff as, you know, before. So let's go over his articulation accessories in just a second. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. So yeah, quick on the accessories. He just comes with this thing, you know, the broiler with that little battery pack thing again. You know, put that back in over here. Got two of them. They're the same. Nice little shiny blue. Really good, you know, just stuff on this. It's pretty neat. I like it a lot. Just nothing to complain about. It's actually better than the one our Road Black has, I think. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, if, if, this, if, the, if these parts right here, you know, the blues, were on this, and we had that silver still, with the blue inlay, it'd be the best ever. But they're just it just falls a little bit short. Just a little bit short. Which is kind of a shame. So putting these to the side, let's go over articulation real quick, and we'll get out of here. Oh, the shades, I mentioned, you know, they're a little translucent. They're nice, you know. They are translucent, which is pretty neat. You can kind of see his eyes a little bit beyond them when he's on the when it's on him. So that works out pretty well. Putting them back. Pretty simple. You know, just gotta Push these in, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Okay, cool. 
And that works out pretty well. Yeah. Gonna finagle it a little bit, a little finessing to get it in there. But once it's in there, it's it's in there. Pretty good. Yeah, that works out really well. Very nice. They could be a little more forced in, I think. They're kind of pu pushing off of his nose. There we go. I think I got a good, you know, setting for them. They could just sit there forever on roadblock. Or heavy duty, as it were. The beard looks really nice, too. We can mention that. A really nice texture on that beard. Okay, so his head goes back this far, forward this far. Not really that great of a joint. I think it's actually... No, it's a hinge. It just won't move forward. Let's see what's going on with that. Yeah, you're just going to force it a little bit, you know, with the head off. If you're moving it for, like, the first time, like I am. I wish it was the uh, cup, the, the double ball peg. You know, move it back much better. Forward much better. Okay, get that movement in there. Up on the arm, down, around all the way, swivel. I usually don't touch this guy, so he has kind of stiff joints. Really good range on that. Swivel down, back and forth, and then back and forth on this one, you know. Down, out, up, all the way around, swivel. There, yep, uh-huh, swivel, and down, and then swivel over here. Two pegs, crunch, forward and back, very nice. Very good swivel here at the belt, and that's really good. I like it a lot. Looks very nice. Yeah, yeah. Very good, very good articulate. Honestly, I like him better than the actual roadblock. I like this roadblock better than this one. It has better color scheme, better paint, just better everything all around. I think it was a good choice for re-releasing him as a target exclusive. You know, redoing the mistakes, fixing it up, making it look even better than it was before. You know, if you get two, add these st things to him, they work out pretty well. The greaves, the things, it just looks nice. I can't really say he was my favorite going in, but, you know, this kit bash it makes him look really good. I recommend getting two of him and just kit bashing the heck out of it. Looks pretty cool and really awesome. So, yeah, that's Roadblock for you. Roadblock stands at around six and three quarters inches tall. Here's Roadblock next to Beachhead and Jesse Heck Creative. Wow, my very own broiler! Thanks, me and Joe. I mean, heavy duty. I mean, Roadblock. Overall, I recommend picking up Roadblock 11. He's a really good figure. The target exclusive thing is really not that bad of an issue, at least when he was coming out. He was flooding the pegs for some time, and people couldn't get rid of him. And I think he's pretty good in the aftermarket now, so yeah, pick him up. He's a good figure, especially if he can get two. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more G.I. June on Jesse Heck Creative. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned.